Hello Aquarians! Welcome to your love reading for July 2019 and welcome to my channel, Lunacy Tarot. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications. I do lunar readings and love readings for each sign for each month. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lunasync. If you like this reading, make sure to hit the like button so that it can circulate amongst others and leave a comment below. Let me know how this resonates. I'm always interested in chatting with you and learning more about your situation. I have already shuffled your cards and I've laid them out here, so let's sync up. In the position of you and what you bring to the table in the month of July to your love relationship or your love interest, is the Eight of Cups. You are walking away from something that you have emotionally invested in. This is not a decision that you've made lightly. Um, it is, uh, you know, this, this person in this card has eight cups before them and most of them are spilled over. It's like you have come to this decision to walk away from something after much consideration and thoughtfulness. There was a significant emotional investment in this thing that you're walking away from um, and you just didn't you don't hmm, how do you say this it hasn't turned out the way that you had hoped and again this is something that you have spent time considering like is this gonna work is this not gonna work it doesn't look like it's working should I walk away from this should I stay You've probably gone back and forth a few times, putting in the effort and then reassessing, reevaluating. But now you were at the point of walking away. You're leaving something behind. This is the energy that you're bringing to the table in July where it comes to your love relationship or your love interest. In the position of your love interest is another eight. Eight, by the way, is a number of abundance and infinity. Um, this is the eight of pentacles. This is what your love interest or love partner, your part or your partner or your, I don't know, it could be your wife. It could be your husband. It could simply be the other. It could be somebody that you're thinking about in July, somebody who's predominantly on your mind. But anyways, what they're bringing to the table is the eight of pentacles and they are developing their skills. They are very focused. They're very concentrated. They're working really hard. Um, and they are focused on skill mastery or skill development in some way. They could be a student or they could just be learning a new skill. They're focused on improving their situation. They're taking action uh, around their values and their beliefs. Um, and they're staying true to what they value and what they believe. And again, they're very concentrated, very determined, focused on their craft focused on whatever they're developing at this time and um, very concentrated. So like I said, there are two eights here. You're, you're an eight and they are an eight. In this picture, the eight of cups, which uh, symbolizes emotions and feelings and creativity, um, are all spilt over. They're sort of jumbled up and they're in disarray. They're on the ground. And then the eight of pentacles, the eight pentacles here are floating in the air. There's some levity to this person's energy. And this, this energy over here is um, just, it's a feeling of sorrow, of grief, of disappointment. There's some lightness over here with your partner or your love interest, what they're bringing to the table. In the position of the combined energy is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity for you and your love love interest in some way. It could be that this relationship presents a new opportunity to move in a new direction. There's potential here. This is sort of a green light around um, this connection. The, the suit of pentacles really has to do with all of all things tangible. So it has to do with finances and money and uh, manifestation and abundance and goals. It has to do with your career and your home, your investments. Um, this could be the combined energy could uh, result in the long term in some sort of financial abundance or some sort of like just prosperity in general. This connection can be a potentially prosperous connection for you and your love interest. Um, maybe you're entering in, into some sort of 
um, partnership around a project of some sort. But I will like to I would like to emphasize that the ace is um, the beginning. It's the number one, right? You're at the very, very, very beginning. There's potential here, but nothing has manifest. Um, there's potential for it to turn into something very prosperous and abundant, um, but it's a seed. This is the combined energy. And then finally, in the outcome, or what needs to be understood and integrated, is the moon. I get a sense that there are painful memories from the past that are potentially being projected onto this relationship, or carrying forward, forward at least, into the future. So I'm going to assume that these are coming from you because you have this card of grief and sorrow and disappointment leaving something behind. And the moon in a relationship reading sometimes has to do with painful memories, um, bringing painful memories forward into the future or experiencing them now, sort of unresolved emotions. Um, and somebody is under the influence of these painful memories or these projections, these anxieties, these fears, these unresolved emotions, and bringing them forward into the future, into your new connection. There's a need to, this is the time of the full moon. Here you have the full moon, and here you have the full moon, and here you have the full moon. There's a lot of full moons in this deck. The full moon is a time of release. So releasing that which does not serve you. So there's a call to action here, and that is to process your emotions, be guided by your intuition, get in touch with your feelings, and release them so that you're not carrying them forward um, so much into the future, that you're actually working with releasing your emotions, releasing your fears and your anxieties. This is also a... Um, a warning to not make fast decisions. Not everything is seen here. There's um, there's a lot under the surface that is is sort of not seen at this time. So fast decisions um, are something to be wary of. Take your time here. Get connected with your feelings. Be guided by your intuition. Connect with your emotions and release your fears and your anxieties. This is the outcome or what needs to be understood and integrated. So. The sense that I get is that there is potential inside of this love connection in July. However, there's work to be done, probably on the part of yourself. I think partnering with this person is partnering with somebody who is sort of a workhorse. They work really hard. They focus very hard. They're very determined. They're very concentrated. They're... Um, bent on having a certain level of abundance in their life. All right, let's look at the chemistry between the two of you. What type of chemistry do you have with this person? How, let's look first at how they think about um, your chemistry. How do they feel about you? What do they think about your chemistry? I'm just flipping cards over here. Some of them are in the wrong, wrong side up. How do they feel about your chemistry? How do they feel about you? What do they think about you? I'm working with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And I want to get one card just to explore your chemistry a little bit here. Right now it seems like you two are very sort of solitary or independent. You, um, you're on your path. And they are on their path. These are very independent, solitary cards. What we have here is the Four of Swords. Oh, this is a funky card. This is how they feel about your... <laughs> this is how they <laughs> feel about your chemistry. And this is weird. Um, he has his finger in her mouth. And she has her hands cupped around his um, groin. It's like they're hiding things. Ooh, there may be some hidden things. I mean, the full moon is all about things that are unseen. In the traditional tarot deck, the Four of Swords is about a rest, like a rejuvenation, like taking a time out to rest. It's like somebody who's been through the battle. And it could be an emotional battle. It could be... Um, 
an actual battle. They're very physically depleted and they need to take a rest. Um, and this card, I don't quite know how to read it. It's very strange. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to hold it here for you. It's like, it's not total, like they're, they're naked. It's not totally sexual though. It's like weird. It's like, um, I mean, he has his finger in her mouth. Uh, it's almost like clinical. There are things that are hidden here. It's confusing. It's disorienting. Like what's happening? We don't know really what's happening. Um, the Four of Swords, again, is like taking a break after a time of conflict. Um, I get the sense that that's where you're coming from. And so maybe that's how they see this connection is like, okay, I'm, I'm fully aware that the person that is interested in me that I'm interested in has been through something and needs to rejuvenate in some way. How do you feel about them? How do you feel about the, your chemistry with them? What do you think about them? I'm going to flip these cards over again. <clears throat> yeah, I, I wish I, I should probably get the book to this deck so that I can read the description on that because that is bizarre. Here we go. This is how you feel about them. It's the Five of Swords. So the Five is the number of conflict of change. And the Five of Swords in the traditional deck is about um, competition and conflict and testing your skills. So it's about people who are developing their skills, quite like the Eight of Pentacles, the figure in the Eight of Pentacles. And then they're testing their skills against one another. But in this card, the Five of Swords, what we see is a woman who, he's taking her dress off. It's a black slinky dress, right? It's very um, exotic and um, elegant and beautiful. He's taking her dress off. He's fully clothed, taking taking her dress off. And he looks like he's having fun. Like he's just open and having fun. And she's sort of posing for him. Um, so th this is just really interesting because we have somebody who's walking away from some conflict, from some emotional investment that did not turn out the way that they wanted. Um, and how your love interest is viewing your connection is one in which um, they know that the, that the person that they're involved with needs to take a time out after this battle, after this emotional, um, I don't know, what is it, emotional situation, this emotionally conflicted situation. There are things that are not totally seen at the moment, and it's odd, it's strange. The chemistry, the, the, the feeling around the chemistry is odd and strange. Um, and then the way that you see them is the Five of Swords, which in the, t the traditional tarot deck is the number of conflict and change, and also the, the card of conflict and competition. However, you seem to, or the man in this picture, I don't know if it's you or not, but the man in this picture seems to be enjoying himself, and she seems to be posing in sort of like, I don't know, She's posing in like, I, this is like um, Rosie the Riveter posture. Like she is the strong one, right? I am strong. Okay, interesting. Let's keep going. Let's pull, let's pull a medicine card because it seems like this is not, um, even though there's potential here, especially potential for prosperity and abundance that we see in the combined energy of the Ace of Pentacles. Some things are not seen. Anxieties and fears and emotions need to be processed and released so that they don't get projected onto this love connection or they don't carry forward too far into the future. And um, there's some interesting like sexual chemistry or love chemistry cards out here that... Um, have me sort of baffled. But what we have here is the owl. So let's read about owl. I haven't pulled owl in a long time. Now this is guidance for you moving forward in the future. Sort of how to navigate July with your love interest. Ooh, owl is about deception. What am I talking about here? Like there's like things that are unseen. 
you know, hidden things, hidden secrets, deception. This, this is weird. I don't know how many times I can say this is weird. <laughs> I wish I had more adjectives to describe this card. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's read about Owl. Owl is oftentimes the medicine of sorcerers and witches. If Owl is your medicine, you will be drawn to magical practices and perhaps explore the dark arts. You should resist any temptation to practice black magic or any art that takes energy away from another person or being. If you have Owl medicine, these nightbirds will have a tendency to collect around you. Ooh, that's interesting because there are three owls right outside of my workplace. <clears throat> um... These night birds will have a tendency to collect around you, even in the daytime, because they recognize a kinship with you. Is it any wonder that in many cultures, owl is a symbol for wisdom? This is because owl can see that which others cannot, which is the essence of true wisdom. Where others are deceived, owl sees and knows what is there. Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom, had a companion owl on her shoulder, which revealed unseen truths to her. Ooh, unseen truths. Dang, okay. Enabling her to speak the whole truth as opposed to only a half truth. If owl is your personal medicine, no one can deceive you about what they are doing no matter how they try to disguise or hide it from you. You may be a little frightening to be around since so many people have ulterior motives which you see right through. If you are unaware of your medicine power, you may take your keen insights and abilities for granted. Others never do. You may frighten them and reflect their blindness, for you cannot be fooled. Owl medicine people know more about an individual's inner life than that person knows about herself or himself. If you've pulled the owl card, you are being asked to use your powers of keen, silent observation to intuit, intuit some life situation. Owl is befriending you and aiding you in seeing the total truth. Owl can bring you messages in the night through dreams or meditation. Pay attention to the signals and omens. The truth always brings further enlightenment. Okay. Yeah, this seems to be... Um, you seem to be working some things out this month. Owl will be your medicine in helping you bring those unseen or those hidden things to the surface so that you can know the whole truth. Speak the whole truth and use the truth to process some of this that you've been through and to move forward in a way um, that has um, great integrity. There is potential with this love connection, but it seems to be sort of hindered by this thing that you're going through or walking away from and processing. And the, they're really focused on their thing, right? And the sort of result of this, like the fears and the anxieties that you have to sort of like process and work out, um, is kind of coloring this connection. All right, Aquarians. Wow, that was intense. Um, I'm wishing you the best in July. I hope you have a beautiful summer. If this reading resonated with you, please do leave a comment below. I love chatting with you and hearing all about what's happening for you. Also, like the reading so that it can circulate to others. You can follow me on Instagram at Lunasync. I hope you have a beautiful summer. Take really good care.